Welcome to the spoken tutorial on breastfeeding latching. In this tutorial, we will learn about correct latching technique for deep attachment of the baby to the breast and breastfeeding frequency. Before we begin, please note that for effective breastfeeding, correct latching is most important. Poor attachment of the baby's mouth to the breast will allow only nipple feeding. This will give very little milk to the baby. Whereas, deep attachment of the baby to the lower part of the areola of the breast will give sufficient milk to the baby. Please note, areola is the dark area around the nipple. Now, let us begin. To start with, the mother should hold her baby in a suitable breastfeeding hold. These holds are explained in detail in other videos of the same series. This tutorial will be explained using the cross cradle hold. Remember, positioning the baby correctly is necessary for successful latching and breastfeeding. In this picture, the mother is holding the baby correctly in the cross cradle hold and the baby is ready to latch on for breastfeeding. Before latching, it is important that the baby opens her mouth widely like a yawn. Why? Let's understand this by looking at an adult eating vada pav or burger. We open our mouth wide to take a big bite of the vada pav or burger. Similarly, a wide open mouth will help the baby to take a big part of the breast in her mouth. To encourage the baby to open her mouth widely, mother should lightly brush her nipple against baby's upper lip till she opens her mouth widely. Be patient. Sometimes it may take a few seconds to two minutes for the baby to open her mouth widely. Remember, for any breastfeeding position, mother's fingers and thumb holding the breast should always be parallel to the baby's lips. When the baby opens her mouth widely, her lower lip should be at the base of the areola and the nipple should be aimed towards the top of her mouth and not the middle of her mouth. Now, mother should quickly put her breast in the baby's mouth. She should press the baby's chin into the breast first by slightly bending baby's head outwards. She should not bend her back or push her breast to reach the baby's mouth. Bring the baby to the breast by a gentle push from behind the baby's shoulders. The most important point in latching is lower part of the mother's areola should be in the baby's mouth. This will help the nipple to reach a comfortable area in the baby's mouth. Baby should be pressing her tongue against the part of the areola near her lower lip. This will compress the larger milk ducts and more milk will come out. Next step is to check whether the baby is attached deeply to the breast. To ensure deep attachment, mother should look for the following signs. Baby's mouth is wide open. The part of the areola visible near the baby's upper lip is more than that near the baby's lower lip. Baby's lower chin is completely embedded into the mother's breast. Baby's jaw drops distinctly as she swallows milk. And the baby's lower lip is curled in the outward direction. Although it mostly gets hidden in the breast in a very well attached baby. In such cases, lightly press the breast near the lower lip of the baby and check if the baby's lower lip is curled in the outward direction. Next, look at the baby's nose. If the baby's nose is pressed against mother's breast, then mother can bend baby's head slightly outwards so that the baby's chin is pushed further into the breast and the baby's nose and forehead 
are pulled away from the breast. Doing so will deepen the baby's attachment to the breast. Do not pull the baby's entire face away from the breast. This can cause nipple feeding. Remember, breastfeeding should be comfortable for the mother. She should not feel pinching, pulling or rubbing on her nipple. If breastfeeding is painful for the mother, then the baby is probably not well attached. Let's look at one of the common reasons for poor attachment. Many mothers pinch their areola to put only the nipple in the middle of the baby's mouth. Here, the baby's mouth is not wide open. Baby gets attached only to the nipple. Here, an equal part of the areola is seen near the upper and lower lip of the baby. Baby's chin is off the breast. Baby has a continuous fast sucking pattern of drinking milk. While sucking, baby's cheeks dimple. Her jaw does not drop distinctly as she swallows milk. And mother's nipple gets pinched and pressed against the hard part of the baby's mouth. This is painful for the mother and may injure the nipple. Also, during nipple feeding, baby cannot get milk from the larger milk ducts beneath the areola. Therefore, the baby does not get sufficient milk. If the baby is feeding only from the nipple, then mother should put her clean little finger inside the corner of the baby's mouth. She should use it to release the baby's pull on her nipple. Then she should reattach the baby on the same breast ensuring a good latch. After proper latching, mother should ensure that the baby gets both fore milk and hind milk adequately. Fore milk is the watery milk stored in the front part of the breast. It is made up of water and protein. It is necessary for baby's growth and for making the baby strong. Hind milk is the thick milk stored in the back part of the breast. It is mainly made up of fats. It is necessary for baby's brain development and weight gain. To ensure that the baby gets both fore milk and hind milk, mother should feed the baby from one breast completely before offering the other breast. To check whether she has fed the baby from one breast completely, mother should express milk from that breast with her hand. If thin, watery milk comes out of the breast or if there is good flow of thick hind milk on expression, then mother should reattach her baby to the same breast. When the flow of thick hind milk reduces to a few drops on expression with hand, it means that mother has fed the baby from that breast completely. But before offering the other breast, mother should encourage the baby to burp by making the baby sit on her lap, then slightly bending the baby's torso forward and cupping the baby's jaw with her hand. Baby should burp within 2-3 to three minutes. If there is no burp in the next 5 minutes, it means that the attachment of the baby to the breast was very good. The baby has not taken in excess air in her stomach while feeding. Now, the mother should offer her other breast to the baby. If the baby's stomach is full, she may not feed from the other breast. But, Mother should always offer both breasts to the baby for feeding. She should let the baby make the final decision. If the baby goes to sleep while breastfeeding, mother should wake her up by gently tapping the sole of the baby's feet or gently tickling the baby's back or 
by making the baby sit in the position shown for burping. Along with the right technique, breastfeeding frequency is also important. Mother should breastfeed her baby at least 12 times in 24 hours, out of which she must breastfeed at least 2 to 3 times in the night. To offer breast milk to the baby, mother should look for baby's hunger signals like stirring, mouth opening, head turning, bringing her hand to mouth, sucking fingers and stretching her body. If the baby starts crying for breast milk, then it means that it is too late. Please note, there is a rapid increase in the baby's growth around 2 weeks, 6 weeks and 3 months of age. And the baby will require more milk. Also, mother's breast milk output will increase if the baby is fed more frequently. Therefore, mother should feed more often during such rapid growth periods. Remember, breast milk is the best nutrition for the baby for the first six months of life. And good attachment is the key to successful breastfeeding. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.